Are you a licensed master's level psychotherapist in the state of California? If so, let's talk about the new CE requirements. There are two new CE requirements. Both apply to BBS associates, and one also applies to full licensees. My name's Carrie Wieda. I'm with Ben Caldwell Labs, and we talk about all things licensure. So the new CE requirement that affects everybody is the new telehealth requirement. It is a one-time, three-hour telehealth training requirement. If you are applying for licensure through the BBS, after July 1st of 2023, you'll need to provide proof of this training in your application. If you actually got this training in your graduate program, you just need to provide proof that you did so, like a certificate or some other proof from the graduate program. For active licensees like LMFTs, LPCCs, and LCSWs, you must complete three hours of continuing education in telehealth before your next license renewal happening after July 1st, 2023. And if you got this training in your grad program, you can also submit like a certificate or letter proving that you did. The second major update is an annual law and ethics CE requirement for all associates. They are removing the requirement for the 12-hour CE course for re-examination eligibility. And starting January 1st, 2023, all associates every year of their associate registration must complete three hours of law and ethics continuing education. So that's it. Everyone, make sure that you've done your three-hour telehealth training. And associates, you are now looking at three hours of law and ethics CE every year during your registration as an associate. And if you need to fulfill either or both of those training requirements, Ben Caldwell offers courses for both on his website, bencaldwelllabs.com. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if I can't answer it, I'll ask Ben.